Hello, I am Krishna Raghavendran and in this tutorial of MIT App Inventor, we are going to see how you can create a balloon pop game using MIT App Inventor. So let me show the demo of this game. Over here you can see there are many balloons all over the app and they are moving all over the app. So now what you need to do is you need to pop the balloons. With You should make sure that you pop them before they move. So as you can see I am trying to do it and you can also hear the sound, the pop sound after I pop. Now only two of them are there and now only one of them. Now after I pop all of them, you'll, you'll be able to see that again there are many other balloons coming. So you can try to do a high score and if you want you can also add a timer over here in this app. If you are new to my channel, my channel is all about creating your own mobile apps free and easily using a tool called MIT App Inventor which is block based coding and easy. So if you want to create fantastic mobile apps, start now by clicking the red subscribe button and the bell icon. Before I start, I want to tell you about the infinite learning app which I created for MIT App Inventor Appathon 2022 competition. So you can review my app which I have created. The theme is quality education. And if you feel that the app is great, you can vote over here for the people choice award. So you can just click on this. The link for the voting is in the description below. So first we are going to put the title for this app. So let me bring in a label and I'm going to increase the font size of this label to be 30 and also make it bold. Next I'm going to change the text of this to be pop the balloon. Next we want this title to be at the center of screen one. So let me go over here to the properties and I'm going to change align horizontal to be center like this. Next we need a canvas so that we can put different sprites which are the balloons and they can move all around the app. So to get the canvas let's go to drawing and animation. And let me bring in the canvas component. Next we are going to put the height and width of this component to be fill parent. So that it occupies the whole screen. Next what we are going to do is we are going to put the background of this to be the sky or the clouds image. Which I have over here. So let me just click on OK. And then once you test it in the mobile you will be able to see the image in the canvas. So you can put any image you want in this canvas. Next we are going to bring in a button. And we are going to put the text of this button to be start. I am going to change the background color of this to be orange like this. And I am also going to make the font to be bold. Next I am going to bring in a label for the score. Let me change the text of this to be score and I am going to put 0. Next I am going to increase the font size of this to be 25. And again I am going to make it bold like this. Next we need the different sprites so that the balloons can move. So again for that let's go to the drawing and animation section and we are going to bring in image sprite. And after you bring in the image sprite we are going to first put the height and the width. So I am going to put the height to be 80 pixels and the width also to be 80 pixels for this image sprite. Next let's upload the sprite the image of the balloon which is which I have already uploaded over here. So over here you can see the sprite or the balloon. Next what we are going to do is I am going to just duplicate this 5 times to get 5 more balloons like this and we are going to move them to random places wherever you want. Next we are going to bring in the sound component so that we can play sound when the balloon is popped by the user. So let me just go over here to the media section and I am going to bring in the sound component. Over here I am going to set the source of this to be the audio file so you can upload the audio file or the pop balloon audio over here so that it can play in the sound component. Also we are just going to go over here to the sensor section and we are going to bring in the clock component. So we, we need this so that we can put the interval and in which the balloons can move. So I am going to put the timer interval to be 200 and we are going to disable the timer and en timer enabled property over here. So let, you, you need to uncheck this box over here. So let's go to the block section. So first let's go over here to the button 1 which is the start button. So in the start button is click what we need to do is we are going to enable the timer component. So let me just go over here and we are going to bring in this property clock one dot timer enabled and we are going to set this to be true so that it is enabled. Next after the timer is enabled so let's go over here and let's bring in this block. So after the timer is enabled what we need to do is we need to set each of these sprites or balloons to random position. So I'm going to bring in the image sprite one. And over here you have a block called move to. Over here you can put the x and the y axis or the positions for the sprite. So they are going to be random numbers. So let's go to the math section. And I am going to bring in the random block over here. So over here you have a 
block called random integer and over here let's change this to be 1 to 300 and the same for the y axis so let me just duplicate this and again we are going to put a random integer from 1, 1 to 300 so that the balloon will move to a random position in the screen next we are going to duplicate this and let's do the same for sprite 2 and all of the sprites or the balloons next after you do this we all we are also going to create a variable named score and we are going to set this variable to be zero at the beginning next we are going to bring in an if condition over here and we are going to check whether the remainder or the modulo of score is equal to zero which means all the balloons have popped so let's say we have five balloons over here and if all of them are popped we need to make them visible again so that's what for that we are going to bring in the if condition next we are also going to bring in the modulo or the remainder operator so over here if you search bit you'll be able to see the modulo operator over here so now what i'm going to do is let's check if the modulo of score divided by five so let me just bring in five and i'm going to change this to be five if the modulo is equal to zero or the remainder is equal to zero which means it is a it is a it is divisible by five and that means that all the balloons have popped by the user so we need new balloons so now i'm going to put zero over here so if it is equal to zero again we are going to make all of these visible so i'm going to bring in the image sprite one blocks and over here you have a block called Im set image sprite one dot visible two over here let me going to put i'm going to put true now i'm going to duplicate this and we are going to do the same for all other balloons or sprites next we also need to enable the sprites so that the user can click on them so i'm going to duplicate this again and this time we are going to change the property to be enabled and again it's going to be true so let me just duplicate this and do for all the others next when the user clicks on the image sprite or the balloon we need to pop the balloon and also increase the user score so for that let me go over here and you'll be able to see an block called when image sprite one dot touched so let's bring in that block and when when it is touched or pressed by the user what we are going to do is first we are going to make them invisible or we are we need to increment the score first by one so i'm going to set the score to score plus one so let me go over here to the operators and i'm going to bring in the addition operator and we are going to get the score and we are going to add one to the score so that the score gets incremented like this next we also need to update it in the label so we are going to update update it in the label two which is this label which has the score over here so now let me go over here to the blocks and i'm going to bring in we are going to set the label to dot text to be over here we are going to join because we need to join more than two more than one string over here i'm going to bring in the text the string and over here i'm going to put score next we are going to duplicate this block so that we can get the global score and show it to the user next we also need to disable and make the image sprite invisible so for that let me go over here to image sprite one and i'm going to bring in this block when image sprite one dot visible two and we are going to set this to be false like this again i'm going to duplicate this and this time we are going to set the enabled property also to be false so that the image sprite or the balloon is not visible and it is also not enabled so and the user cannot click on the balloon to pop it next you also need to play the pop sound the pop balloon sound when the user touches the image sprite so what we are going to do is let's go over here to sound one and we are going to just bring in this block called sound one dot play next what you need to do is you need to duplicate the whole block the whole section and we are going to change it to image sprite 2 so that it also applies to the second balloon you can do next you, you also need to change the visible and the enabled properties to be image sprite 2 so you can do the same way for all other balloons now you can see that i have done it for all the five sprites let's test the app and let's see if it is working over here you can see the pop the balloon game and i'm going to click on the start button you can see that the balloons are moving to random positions now i'm going to click on the balloon to pop them you can see that i have popped three balloons in just one shot and you can also see that the score is three for me and now i have only one balloon left to pop now you can see that i have popped all the five balloons now you have many other balloons coming out to pop and you can pop like this now you can also add the timer feature which shows the time remaining so that the user can see how much balloons they can pop in just 60 seconds so if i click start 
you can see that the timer re time remaining is decreasing and whenever it goes to zero it will show you a message that the game is over so to add the timer feature watch this video and also watch my full course of MIT App Inventor over here